Hey, what up? It's Ty1822 here to review WWE Monday Night Raw. So Raw kicks off with the return of John Cena, the new World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena. So John Cena, you know, saying that it feels good to be back, you know, hearing boos and hearing cheers. So, you know, he's still talking and talking. Then Damien Sendow comes out. Now, Damien Sendow was saying how he's the uncrowned champion and said that you, Cena was scared of him that he might cash in his money in the bank. So it looked like Sandow was going to cash in. He was teasing it for a while. Then all of a sudden, Sandow takes out John Cena. A lot of people on Twitter thought, oh, could this be the moment for Damian Sandow? He started attacking Cena, attacking Cena. Then he said, I'm going to cash it in. So the match happened. It went straight to commercial break, but gave it away right there. I knew from the jump Cena was going to win. So uh, John Cena, uh, Damian Sandow for the World Heavyweight Championship. This was a really good match right here. Very enjoyable stuff right here. Like I said, I knew Damian wouldn't win, but it still did stop me from enjoying the match. Good back and forth action. John Cena ends up hitting Damian Cena with the attitude justice for the one, two, three, and still your world heavyweight champion, John Cena. And Damian Cena officially becomes the first Money in the Bank winner to cash it in and lose his world title match. Dean Ambrose versus Biggie Lance in the rematch from WWE Hell in the Cell. The match didn't last long. Shield members, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns got involved, no DQ, Biggie gets another win on Dean Ambrose. So then the Uso brothers come out, you know, to help Biggie Langston. Their brand Modox came out to announce a tag team match between the Usos, Biggie Langston versus the Shield. This was a solid tag team match right here. Roman Reigns hit both Usos with the spear for the one, two, three. What a cool ending to that match. HBK. Last night, we all know, he screwed Daniel Bryan out the WWE title with the super kick. Um, the crowd booed Shawn Michaels. I wonder, you know, how the crowd can react to Shawn Michaels. And they did boo him. So he called out Daniel Bryan. He was telling Daniel Bryan, you can't trust certain people in this business. You shouldn't even trust the, the lady you're about to marry. So then he's saying how he's a, a A player and Daniel Bryan is a B player. He said, Daniel Bryan, shake my hand, shake my hand. All of a sudden, Daniel Bryan put Shawn Michaels in the yes lock. The crowd popped for it. Shawn Michaels, great job. Uh, great job with, you know, the selling with Daniel Bryan. Just tremendous segment. And this going to help Daniel Bryan a lot, working with the greatest of all time, Shawn Michaels. Great stuff right there. Move my paper over a little bit. Um, yeah. So Daniel Bryan about to do, you know, a bad uh, stage interview. All of a sudden, the Wyatt's... Just jumps there, you Brian, and then Bray Wyatt said, "The devil made me do this." Finally, the Wyatt's going after credible people because they went after Kofi, the Miz. No, I care about these people, but you go after somebody like Daniel Bryan. Now, you finally get people attention. I love this right here from the Wyatt's. Um, Lost Matador versus Three on B. Lost Matador, Lost Matadors defeat Three on B. I mean, they had so many rematches. AJ Lee and Tamina teams up with, uh, sorry, AJ and Tamina versus the Bella Twins. Now, I don't know who won this match. Um, it was like, it was just background noise for me the whole time. But my guess is AJ Lee and Tamina won. If I'm wrong, just let me know. So, it's the return of Kang to Monday Night Raw. Kang versus The Miz. Kang defeated The Miz. So, all of a sudden, Kang calls out Stephanie McMahon. He said, Steph, you messed up a lot of people's lives. Uh, all of a sudden, Kang said, you know what? I like it. The monster is back. So, Kang walked upstairs and takes his mask off and give it to Stephanie. Didn't expect that right there. So, now Kang will not have the mask again. That's that's very interesting right there. They took the mask off. I thought Kang would keep the mask off for good. But, nope. Now, Kang is maskless again. I'm hoping for he bring back the original mask with the original tire. I don't see that right there. I don't want to see uh, Masters Ken anymore. I prefer Ken with the mask at the end of the day. A lot of people do anyway. Nobody ever said Masters Ken is better than Mask Ken. You can't find one mark that ever said that. CM Paul versus Rob back the rematch from the Hell in a Cell last night. Um, the fans had a choice you know, to vote what match it should be. It was a street fight. CM Paul just on uh, Rob back. He did another table spot with an elbow drop uh, and a kind of vice grip. Rob back taps out now. You could end this feud between these guys at Hell in a Cell. You end up Monday Night Raw. You just basically killed the Hell in a Cell even more. That gimmick is completely dead. 
The Hell in a Cell post and Fuse. Not a street fight. Makes no sense. Um, the Wires came out. And they attacked CM Punk. Like I said, credible people. I love this right here. Why are attacking credible people? And it was CM Punk. Good stuff right there. Uh, you know, they had a segment early with uh, David Otunga. He's Big Show uh, lawyer. David Otunga will play this character very well because he's actually a lawyer anyway. So this 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 son could work for this guy. He's been on TV for a long time. Antonio Zaro, Jack Swagger versus Goldust and Cody Rose. This was a, a good tag team match right here. And Jack Swagger made Goldust tap. I was shocked by this. I did not expect the Real American Antonio Zaro and Jack Swagger to defeat the tag team champions. So it looks like now the Real Americans are the number one contenders for the tag team championships. A burst the Rio, you know, coming out with the Mexican flag saying he got a rematch. Nothing. Draw no heat at all. Who cares about a burst with the Rio? Fandango. And Summer Rae. Summer Rae having a match against Natalya. Uh, Natalya gets the victory from the sharpshooter. Now, it's the Randy Orton celebration. Triple H Stephanie comes out. And Triple H, you know, bring, bringing up that, you know, he brought up Orton Evolution. And, you know, he finally mentioned that, you know, he attacked his family, which a lot of people been wondering, will he ever bring that up? Then he said he matured. And look at him now. He's the he A player. So, then the Big Show, you know, comes out. Uh, you know, text from the ship members. Then the rest of the roster helps the Big Show out. Then Big Show got a microphone telling uh, Triple H, you know what? I would, I would take everything from this company because I got a lawsuit on y'all. I don't care about the restraining order. So then he's still talking. Then Randy Orton hits him with the WWE title. Then Big Show ends up knocking Randy Orton out. Triple H is going crazy. The crowd, you know, just loving it with Big Show knock out Randy Orton. And Triple H is pissed. He wasn't getting the ring, but he changed his mind. This was a good episode of Monday Night Raw. It flew by fast. I did feel drained from watching three hours of the show. And the Big Show, man, he's finally involved in a storyline that people can care about him. So it's good to see the Big Show finally being cared about. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.